Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and welcome to the 147th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. All right, and to start off, I just wanted to say that we have a lot to talk about in this episode about jailbreaking, but first I wanted to go over an interesting report about the rumored lower cost iPhone. So earlier this week, following the recent rumors surrounding the possible lower cost iPhone, Mac Rumors posted several high quality renderings of the physical features that such a device may very well embody. Now, in addition to a lower cost iPhone with a silver or white backing, one of the images depicts several iPhones in yellow, red, and green. The renderings seem to closely match the measurements and proposed physical features that were outlined in earlier leaked design drawings. Moreover, these new images highlight the lower cost iPhone as somewhat of a hybrid between the current iPhone 5 and the fifth generation iPod Touch. And in spite of the apparent all-metal look, the mock-ups were created based on recent information surrounding the device, including the fact that it will likely sport a plastic casing. Now, of course, they were created to provide a hopefully more realistic look at the iPhone's design, size, and shape. And the iPhone pictured in the renderings is slightly thicker than the current iPhone 5, measuring at 8.5 millimeters thick instead of the iPhone 5's thickness of 7.6 millimeters. Now it's said that the lower cost iPhone will also be slightly taller than its full priced counterpart to account for the bulkier plastic shell. Furthermore, the volume buttons and speaker and microphone grills seem to be more reminiscent of the latest iPod Touch and iPad Mini models than the same physical features on the iPhone 5. Of course, as I'm sure most of you are already aware, Apple is expected to release their soon-to-be flagship iPhone 5S later this year in the fall, and the lower-cost iPhone will likely be made available at the same time, which will add consumers with an extra option to help make the iPhone more affordable when purchased off contract. Of course, just be sure to stay tuned to this series, my YouTube channel in general, and best tech info I'll keep you guys completely covered on anything and everything iPhone related. Alright, now let's talk about jailbreaking. To do this, I'm going to cite some articles on not only best tech info, but also jailbreak evasion. So if you want more details, just be sure to check below. I'll have all of the links listed there. Before we get into the news, I just wanted to give you guys the situation really quick. So as of now, there currently isn't a jailbreak for iOS 6.1.3 or 6.1.4 in the case of those iPhone 5 owners who updated to that firmware. Unfortunately, as of now, newer devices can only jailbreak on iOS 6 through 6.1.2 using Evasion. However, the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and the fourth generation iPod Touch can jailbreak using Red Snow with what's known as a semi-tethered or a semi-untethered jailbreak. Again, new devices like the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S, the iPad 2, the third generation iPad, the fourth generation iPad, the iPad mini, and the fifth generation iPod Touch unfortunately cannot jailbreak, and the developers are waiting until Apple releases iOS 7 to the public before issuing the next major jailbreak. All right, now that we have the situation out of the way, let's go over some of the news. So first, POSIX Ninja, former leader of the Chronic Dev team, sent out a rather interesting and secretive tweet regarding the future. Now, although most of the news surrounding POSIX Ninja and the creation of the next major jailbreak utility have been based off of conjecture, earlier this week, a tweet from POSIX Ninja provides solid evidence that the hacker's work is underway. Now, I will talk about some of POSIX Ninja's claims in just a second, but for now, he sent out a tweet that says, quote, okay, I hate Red Snow, I hate Snow Breeze, and I hate 6.1.3. I'm ready to get this hashtag open jailbreak off the ground. Now, even though the iOS security expert has essentially verified his plans to develop a new jailbreak for iOS 7, it will certainly take POSIX Ninja some time before he's ready to release anything to the public. And then in a follow-up to POSIX Ninja's recent confirmation of a future jailbreak utility, famed iOS developer and hacker Ryan Petrich published a new screenshot of his fifth generation iPod Touch jailbroken on iOS 7 beta. Now, of course, ensuring that the public will have access to an iOS 7 jailbreak on all devices is instrumental in the evolution of the jailbreak community. And in the screenshot that the developer posted, the iPod Touch appears to have Activator, which is a widely popular jailbreak extension that was ironically developed by Ryan himself. And also in the screenshot, it has the famed System Version 2 new pop-up message. Well, as of now, the iOS 7 jailbreak that he's most likely using is dubbed a failbreak. Now, the term failbreak was coined to refer to a jailbreak that simply 
cannot be released to the public due to legal issues and the requirement of an Apple iOS developer account. Now these two issues go hand in hand. And if he is indeed employing the use of a fail brick to gain root access and in turn jailbreak his iPod touch on iOS 7, then he's likely doing so to test and modify the number of jailbreak tweaks he's created over the years. And even if the hacker is using a fail brick, it's possible that he could have also used new and unreleased exploits for further testing purposes. Now kind of back to Posix Ninja for a second, months ago the hacker suggested that he was in the process of creating a boot ROM based jailbreak, which is fundamentally different than a tool like Evasion in the sense that it utilizes and exploits a vulnerability that simply cannot be patched by Apple unless they release new hardware. And that's actually why the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and the fourth generation iPod Touch can jailbreak right now on iOS 6.1.3 when no other device can. That's because now Red Snow relies on the Lime Rain exploit which was first discovered by Geohot in 2010. Now all other devices that were affected by the Lime Rain exploit have since been phased out by Apple and that's what's going to happen even more with iOS 7 now that neither the iPhone 3GS nor the fourth generation iPod Touch will be supported in the firmware so only the iPhone 4 will be able to be jailbroken immediately upon the release of new firmwares or new versions of iOS 7 again because of that Lime Rain exploit. So you can see why a new boot ROM exploit that affects all current iDevices would be instrumental in the development of a new utility because again those devices would be able to be jailbroken as soon as new firmwares were released. Well now following one of POSIX Ninja's recent tweets, Muscle Nerd, unofficial leader of the iPhone dev team and one of the four evaders sent out a tweet that essentially called out POSIX Ninja saying quote there is no A5 plus boot ROM exploit by anyone. Not even a boot ROM dump nothing. And then it took POSIX Ninja about a day to respond to Muscle Nerd. So following a series of immature tweets between the two hackers, the truth finally came out. So while POSIX Ninja hasn't discovered a boot ROM exploit, he may have discovered a boot ROM vulnerability that he plans on demoing at the upcoming Hack in the Box conference. Unfortunately though, it's unlikely that such a vulnerability will lead to a boot ROM jailbreak anytime soon if ever. Now after being lectured by Muscle Nerd about misinforming his followers and after posting an image of a conversation between POSIX Ninja and Comex, who is a once prominent Wonderkin solo iOS hacker that proves that POSIX Ninja doesn't have a boot ROM exploit, POSIX Ninja responded by saying, quote, I've only said I have big things coming, stuff which you know nothing about. So hopefully if POSIX Ninja stays true to some of his claims, he will develop a jailbreak utility. However, the evaders have confirmed that they are working on something new, so if POSIX Ninja doesn't pull through, we definitely will be covered for iOS 7 in the jailbreak community. Now finally, in their last two tweets of interest, Muscle Nerd conveyed that the public assumed that POSIX Ninja's quote bigger than jailbreak stuff was a boot ROM based exploit. And following that, POSIX Ninja once again confirmed that he has nothing of a boot ROM nature planned for the future. Now I know this is kind of a lot to take in. So to summarize, while there currently isn't a jailbreak available for iOS 6.1.3 or 6.1.4 for select iPhone 5 owners, the evaders, and possibly POSIX Ninja are planning to develop untethered jailbreak utilities in the future for iOS 7. So of course, as I've said before, I will keep you guys completely covered on everything jailbreak related here in this series on my YouTube channel in general and on Best Tech Info. So just be sure to stay tuned. Now finally, really quick, before I conclude this episode, I just wanted to briefly briefly talk about Google Glass. So as I'm sure a lot of my viewers are already aware, I did receive my Google Glass Explorer Edition recently, and I also created an unboxing of Google Glass. So if you guys want to see that, I'll have a link to it below for anyone who missed it. And really quick, on the topic, so far I've found that Glass has very limited support for the iPhone. So when it's connected to an Android device, it can do things like easily tether over Bluetooth to use the phone's data connection to be able to do searches and also browse the web when it's not connected to Wi-Fi, but it can also do things when connected to Android that it can't do when connected to the iPhone, like send text messages and also get directions. So to fully test out Glass on the go, I might try to use it with my Nexus 4. Now my question to you guys is what videos you want me to make on Glass. So just be sure to leave any and all suggestions down below in the comment section. Don't forget, it's not too late to enter into my $100 and $50 Amazon gift cards giveaway. Just be sure to rate this video up and hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos and also leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section to gain an entry. If you don't know what to leave in the comment section, again, try answering the question of the day, which is what videos you guys think I should make on Google Glass. Just be sure to enter into the Amazon giveaway soon as it will be concluding after this episode. Of course, to be updated more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me in one of your circles inside of Google+. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.